awoke. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you're all right. I was worried sick about you. I know. Have you been here all night? I, I tried to uh, call your home and, and I, I called your office. I must have left about 20 messages. I'm, I'm so sorry I didn't think to call here. Where were you? At the hospital. Lucy, are, are you all right? Not me. Not me. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not fine, Kevin. It was perfectly hideous. Who got hurt? Mike Corbin was shot. Joe Scully is dead. And if it hadn't been for Mike, it would have been Sonny. And if it hadn't been for Sonny and Luke, it would have been me. Well, as much as I hate to say it, grateful to them. You know, I never thought I would see you again. Oh, God. Oh, don't stop. Don't let me go. You know what I kept thinking? I kept picturing you waiting and waiting and getting angrier and angrier <laughs> at me. Matt called me. He saw them take you and he called me as soon as he talked to the police. I went to Luke. He told me everything, Lucy. You see, the drugs, the drugs that you swore to me that you didn't have anything to do with. Well, I, I didn't. N not really. I mean, not technically. Oh, God. I was going to tell you everything. I was going to confess the whole thing as soon as we got out of town, honest. You know, I was going to give you time to have your fit and then get over with it. Oh, boy. You, d you didn't tell the police about the drugs, did you? You'd all be in jail right now if I had. What possessed you? Desperate times call for desperate measures. You know, I heard you say that once. You used that. Don't quote me to justify insanity. <sighs> Do you know how short conjugal visits in prison are? But we are not married. And I'd be forced to testify against you. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Of course I would. I can't believe Luke and Sonny got you involved in drugs. Well, they didn't. Not really. Well, I mean, Luke and Sonny would never really have anything to do with drugs. Well, you mean, of course, except to steal them and then recycle them back to their owner in order to send him to prison. Exactly. But, Kevin, see, you know what you're missing is those drugs probably ended up in a federal incinerator and not back out on the streets. So that's a good thing, isn't it? You see, if things hadn't turned out differently, you wouldn't be back on the streets either. I thought he was going to really do it. I think Joe would have killed me. I thought I could talk my way out of it. You know, I really... Well, I usually can talk my way out of anything. Or into just about anything. I sure was trapped. All I could do was look into his beady little eyes. You know, they're this gray, hard-looking steel with black flecks, and then they're so cold and so mean. And then I realized they might be the last things that I see in this whole world. Sit down. Lucy, look into my eyes. I want you to make me a promise. Now repeat after me. I, Lucy Coe, promise to never put myself nor the man that I love through anything like this ever again. I promise to live a calm.
contemplative life, even if it means being bored to tears. I have to promise to be bored? Lucy, what you find boring would give most people cardiac arrest. Lucy, spontaneous, untamable creature that you are, how am I ever going to keep you safe? I am safe. Everything turned out okay. Everything's fine. Well, except for poor Mike and Joe Scully, who did get exactly what he deserved. You don't seem to understand how hard this is on me. No, I do. I really, I really do. And that's why I wait until everything's all over with to tell you about it. Which only makes it worse. I can't handle all this subterfuge and intrigue, Lucy. I'm an overt, straightforward kind of person. I know. But that's okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay, Lucy. You can't stretch a rope beyond its limit because it breaks. And I'm stretched as far as I can go. I can't change anymore. Can you? Well, if you want me to change, I can change. You know, that... Oh, I do change all the time. You know, maybe that's the problem. So if I change, I may change again. Be as unpredictable as you like. Just stay out of danger. Okay. I can promise to do that. Except... What exactly constitutes danger for you? I mean, what, what's your definition? Anything that would take you away from me, body and soul. Good. Promise it. On my heart. Okay. On mine. I promise to stay away from trouble. Even if it comes to my door, begging and pathetic and whining, I'll say, go away, trouble. I will be good. Who said anything about being good? if you have a delayed reaction. To what, oh, Studley Lynn? <laughs> Actually, I meant the kidnapping. Oh. Well, I've almost forgotten all about it. You won't. It'll pop up at the most inopportune times. And it will probably stir up issues having to do with control or boundaries. Things like that. Thank you, Dr. Kevin. I'm just letting you know that I'll understand. You know, there's something that I don't understand. Why would Damien go out of his way to help me? I mean, especially since he's the one who started this whole scully thing to ruin me in the first place. Damien Smith? Mm-hmm. He is the one that told Luke where to find me. He also claims that he went to Scully and tried to get him not to go after me before that. It doesn't make sense, though. He hates me, and he hates Luke. So why help me? That's the burning issue here, Damien Smith? Well, think about it. I'd rather not. You know something? If there's anything I hate, it's being left in the dark. Where are you going? To see Damien, of course. What? What about your promise? Get back here. It has nothing to do with my promise. What kind of trouble can I get into in Damien's suite at the Port Charles Hotel? Lucy! Lucy! No! Lucy!